water, water again, odd substance. Water is amphoteric. It can act as either an acid or a base. Um, even in pure water, it does this a little bit with itself. Um, so one water molecule can act as an acid and donate a hydrogen to the other water molecule acting as a base, and then you get hydronium ion and hydroxide ion. Why would it do this? I don't know. Do we expect that it does this a lot? No. Teeny tiny bit. It's like two water molecules are like, hey, hey, why don't we do this reaction? And they do it, and they're like, oh, that wasn't very fun, and so they stop. Uh, it doesn't happen very much. This is definitely just a partial reaction. This is called self-ionization because water ionizes with itself. Re occurs to a very small extent. So when we look at, oh gosh, let's go back here. When we look at this <coughs> equation, <coughs> that means that we have very small concentrations of hydronium and hydroxide ion in pure water. Very, very small. At, in pure water, those concentrations are 10 to the minus 7th molar. 1 times 10 to the minus 7, point zero 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 one moles per liter. Very small. The concentrations are equal because when the self-ionization occurs, for every one hydronium ion, you get one hydroxide ion. We haven't talked about ion product constants. Usually I do chapter 15 before, um, and this semester I didn't. Um, so I'll just say that Kw is equal to hydronium ion concentration times hydroxide ion concentration, because I said so, and, and this is what its value is, 1 times 10 to the minus 14. So you take this at 10 to the minus 7 times this at 10 to the minus 7, you get 10 to the minus 14. That has a special name, Kw. So that's illustrated here. Water, pure water is neutral. In a neutral solution, the hydroxide ion concentration is equal to the hydronium ion concentration. Those ions are present, but they're equally abundant. So that's a neutral solution. In an acidic solution, you have more hydronium ions. Because think about it. You take pure water where hydronium and hydroxide ions concentrations are equal, and you put, say, HCl into it. You've added a bunch of hydrogen ions, which are going to piggyback on water molecules forming hydronium ions. An acidic solution has more hydronium ions. So the concentration is larger than 10 to the minus 7. Because of that reaction, the hydroxide ion concentration is going to be less because what happens, let's go back there, what happens here is if you've got a bunch of hydronium being added in here, it's going to react with some of the hydroxide ions and reduce the amount of hydroxide. So We'll understand that a little more when we go to chapter 15. Um, but for now, in order for this to be true, if the hydronium ion goes up, the hydroxide ion has to go down. In a basic solution, think about adding sodium hydroxide. You're adding OH minus. So the hydroxide ion concentration is larger than 10 to the minus 7. And some of that will neutralize the hydronium ion, and so this will be smaller. But this is always true in aqueous solutions. The hydronium times the hydroxide equals 10 to the minus 14. So they have this inverse relationship. So here in neutral water, pure water, 10 to the minus 7 for the hydronium ion concentration, 10 to the minus 7 for the hydroxide. If you go to an acidic solution, the hydronium ion concentration gets larger the hydroxide ion concentration gets smaller. 
If you go to a basic solution, the hydroxide ion concentration increases, the hydronium ion concentration decreases. Did you hear that? My stomach. So calculate hydronium ion concentration in each solution. Determine whether the solution is acidic, basic, or neutral. We're using this equation, um, the hydroxide ion times the hydronium ion is equal to 1.0 times 10 minus 14. So if this is the hydroxide ion concentration, how do we find the hydronium ion concentration? We, re we rearrange that equation. The hydronium ion concentration will be 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by the hydroxide ion concentration. So for this first example, we're going to divide by 1.5 times 10 to the minus 2. So 1 EE negative 14 divided by 1.5 EE minus 2. Hydronium ion equals 6.7 times 10 to the minus 13 molar. Questions? How do we decide if that's acidic, basic, or neutral? I prefer to think of the hydronium ion concentration. So we want to look at this and see, is it larger than 10 to the minus 7, or is it smaller than 10 to the minus 7? It's smaller. The hydronium ion concentration is smaller. The hydroxide ion concentration is larger. So this one is basic. There's more base. There's more hydroxide. Questions? How about this one? The hydroxide ion concentration is 10 to the minus 7. You can do the calculation, but that's what it is in water, pure water. The hydronium ion concentration, you can do the calculation, but you're going to come up with 1 times 10 to the minus 7. Acidic, basic, or neutral? Neutral. And then this one, whoops, 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 8.2 times 10 to the minus 10. So we get 1.2 times 10 minus 5 molar. That's the hydronium ion concentration. Acidic, basic, or neutral? Acidic. The concentration of hydronium is higher than of the base. So this one's acidic. Any questions? <coughs> 